Hey guys, so I actually I was talking to a friend earlier today um, about being a vegetarian and they used in their argument or their reason as to why they're a vegetarian the fact that Jesus was a vegetarian. I was thinking about it and I'm sure that everyone on here thinks that probably I'm going to say the same thing because I'm a vegetarian, but actually I think it's kind of ridiculous. Um, Jesus was not a vegetarian, guys, really. I mean... It makes us all look really uninformed and nitpicky and just, it makes us look stupid. I'm just going to say that plainly. It makes us look stupid. Jesus ate fish. There were miracles where he multiplied fish. And don't tell me that it's because the translation is wrong and they in fact meant seaweed. I mean, he was a fisherman. There are stories of him out in the middle of a body of water with a net. I don't think that they were fishing for seaweed. And the translation bullshit gets really annoying really fast because you could interpret the Bible in so many different ways and people are doing it now conveniently to fit exactly what they want to say. I could retranslate the Bible. I could say, oh, well, the, the interpretation, you know, the entire Bible just you know, pretty much means that um, you should be eating flesh and drinking blood of people who you see working on Sunday. Yes, I know. There are Bible verses that you can interpret and say that it is promoting vegetarianism. And for every one verse you find, I could probably find 10 that have the exact opposite message. I mean, there are so many stories where they talk about slaughtering the fattened calf, they talk about, you know, fishing, they talk about sacrificing animals. Just don't go there, because if you're, if you're talking to someone about this, you're pretty much setting them up to say something back to you. And if you really feel the need to mention names, you know, mention Aristotle, mention Socrates, mention Einstein. You can prove it. They have different famous quotes about vegetarianism. Don't give them something that they can dispute so easily. I mean, this is something that is so clearly wrong to so many people. Just don't make it that easy for someone to shut you out. And like I said, you can mention the famous people that you know of that are vegetarians, but I wouldn't. I mean, the only time I've ever used that in an argument is if somebody tells me that you know, I'm stupid or uneducated for the way that I'm living my life. And I'll be like, okay, so you think Einstein was stupid and uneducated? You know, then it's okay. But if not, then you're just pretty much saying, well, well, look, look who's a vegetarian. Look at them. So, so you should be a vegetarian because they're a vegetarian and now I'm a vegetarian and all these cool people are vegetarians, like the smart people, like we're up here, vegetarians, we're up here and you're like down here. So you should be a vegetarian so you can be up here to peer pressure. I mean, come on, when's the last time that worked on anybody? It doesn't. It just pisses them off and it makes you look like a snobby asshole. It's not the way to go about convincing someone. I mean, it's just, it pisses me off a little bit because it's like there are so many reasons why I'm a vegetarian and there's so many reasons why other people are vegetarians that you shouldn't really have to, you know, reach that far for a logical explanation. I mean, there are so many other things. You can talk about animal abuse, you can talk about health issues, you can talk about environmental issues. Like, substantial reasons. You don't need to say, well, Jesus was a vegetarian. That's not going to work. You can't prove it. Most people don't think it's true. Like I myself, I really don't think that's true. Like there are so many stories about fish and other things and, and animals and sacrifices. These people didn't have food. So he did that. I'm sure if you were starving, you would eat the fish. If we lived then, meat was scarce. Meat was something special. To, like It's not something that they had every meal. You know, people now are used to having meat so often that... You know, you don't realize that back then it was a very rare thing. They had limitations and they were starving, okay? So we don't need to justify why we're a vegetarian because Jesus was a vegetarian because back then it didn't even make sense to be a vegetarian. Now there's factory farming, there's animal abuse, there's all kinds of pollution, and we way overeat meat. Like we do not need it three meals. Like people eat it three meals a day or more. Snacks, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, you know, heart disease. You have so many reasons, real reasons, to be a vegetarian. You don't need to start pulling things out of the air because then it looks like you need to and you don't. Okay, feel free to rip this video apart in the comments. If you don't hate me, I have a Facebook and I have a Twitter. I finally made a Twitter. Um, so I'll leave those links in the description and make sure to show some love and sub. All right, bye guys.